team deathmatch. Hey guys, it's your boy Outlaw Evans, and today I have some news about the next Call of Duty release. There had been rumours for a while now that Sledgehammer Games were going to be developing this year's Call of Duty title, and it was going to be called Modern Warfare 4. But then over the last week or so, there were rumours that Treyarch were making Black Ops 3 to be released this year. Well I can now put an end to all of the speculation for you because it is now officially confirmed that Sledgehammer Games are indeed making this year's Call of Duty release. This news was confirmed by Activision last night and then shortly after Sledgehammer Games confirmed it themselves. Activision CEO Eric Hirschberg announced that Activision is moving into a three year development cycle for Call of Duty to allow the developers more time to deliver the best game possible. Adding a third developer is a good move in my opinion. This means that Sledgehammer Games will do this year's release, Treyarch will do the 2015 release, Infinity Ward will do the 2016 release, then Sledgehammer Games will be back for 2017 and the Soul Cup will just continue like that. I remember in the Black Ops 1 days, David Von Der used to say that it would be better for them to have an extra year to work on their releases. Well, you've got what you wanted now, Von Der Haar. You've got yourself an extra year to think of more bullshit to put into your 2015 release. I'm going to show you a few things on screen now from last night's announcement. As you can see, this one is from the official Sledgehammer Games Twitter account. It says, we are thrilled to develop the next generation of Call of Duty for 2014. Huge fans of the franchise, much more to come, a new era begins. Glenn Schofield, the studio head and co-founder of Sledgehammer Games then tweeted, Finally, hard to keep the news quiet for so long. Proud as hell to be a part of the franchise, so much to show soon. He must have received a lot of good feedback about the news because he then tweeted Hey thanks everyone, really nice reception, we will not let you down, we've been heads down for a couple of years, great stuff ahead, followed by These past two years have been the most creative of our careers, without question, man I can't wait to show the game off someday. In one of those tweets he added a link to a blog post on their Sledgehammer Games website. I'll put the link in the description of this video if you want to take a look for yourselves. I'll read it out to you now though. The blog post says, Five years ago we started on the most exciting journey of our careers. Sledgehammer Games was built around a singular goal to create world class interactive entertainment that entertains millions of fans around the world. We have a passion for creating games and a team dedicated to achieving excellence in everything that we do. Having the honour of developing the new next generation of Call of Duty is a developer's dream come true. All of us here at Sledgehammer Games have a shared vision to create the best work of our lives. The next Call of Duty represents a new era for this amazing franchise and we look forward to sharing what we have been working on. Today is just the beginning, there is so much more to come. That blog post is from Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry, the founders of Sledgehammer Games. Now for those of you that don't know, Sledgehammer Games co-developed Modern Warfare 3 with Infinity Ward. I don't know how much input Sledgehammer Games had, but as it was co-developed I'm guessing it was pretty much 50-50, I don't know though. Anyway, I know a lot of people on YouTube hated Modern Warfare 3, but personally, I liked it. When the rumours first started about Sledgehammer Games possibly making the next Call of Duty, people were up in arms about it, moaning and bitching, based on what they thought of Modern Warfare 3. These people are everything that is wrong with this so-called COD community. How can you moan about a game that you don't even know what it's called, you've never seen, you've never played, how can you moan about that? From my own personal standpoint, 
I would like to welcome Sledgehammer Games and tell that I can't wait to see it and play it. Good luck guys. That's about it for today then. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Till next time, I've been Outlaw Evans. Peace. Listen very carefully, I don't fuck around It's the outlaw Evans, number one pound for pound Fucking all your little campers up on Call of Duty Bang a bitches in Los Santos, get that grand death booty I'm the undisputed champion, the king of FIFA Beat you down so bad, you wish you had amnesia And I haven't even started yet Outlaw Evans, motherfucker, that's a name you won't forget Beast mode's always active when I'm running through the maps Tapping flex, collecting tags, hunt you down till you collapse Call in my streaks, I dominate your cry and submit another Victor 40 out the on your knees and I say quit Packing networks in Chicago The Titans causing havoc Yeah that's right I said the Titans causing havoc Stone Cold Stunners in the ring TKO's in the octagon I'm a ruthless motherfucker Show the haters how it's really done Teach your brothers and sisters With fairness and love Cause that's the way to win Friends and rise above All pettiness and anger Racism and hate Don't you wanna be the person Everyone will celebrate Treat your brothers and sisters With fairness and love Cause that's the way to win Friends and rise above All pettiness and anger Anger, racism and hate Don't you wanna be the person everyone will celebrate? I know you're not in your head Outlaw Evans The baddest motherfucking outlaw on YouTube